Good morning. You know, for the most part, people are jaded. Um, that's actually my ring doorbell. People are jaded for the most part. Um, people, that's a notification. <laughs> people are jaded. They don't trust very well. Uh, and um, they tend to believe the worst in people or want to believe the worst in people. And um, that seems to be the nature of a lot of people. In my past, right, I've had people who want to believe the worst in me. They want to believe that the the, pe the person that they see is just a representation and it's not really me. They want to believe that I am not uh, this always nice guy who always tries to be optimistic. And the truth is I'm not. I'm not like, I, there are times when I, I, I feel defeated. There are times when I get upset. There are times when I I um, I think I don't know if I can do this and I want to give up and there are that times when I don't think positively about every situation but then I have to to stop and think about what's best for me and and what's best for my mental space and all that so people can't seem to understand that um, who I am and the person that they see is actually who they see is actually who I am um, I am I try my hardest. I have had people in my life, and one person actually told me this, that they are going to push my buttons to see me come out of character. They said that. Um, uh, there are people that have wronged me, that like legitimately wronged me, who instead of apologizing or instead of um, just admitting their their mistakes or their wrongs they try to make me the villain or make me the bad guy um, and I stay quiet because of a couple of things um, I know that I serve a God who's omniscient he's all-knowing and he's omnipresent he's everywhere so um, I don't really need to respond to people who have alleged things against me that's not true because um, no matter how much I want to, like there are times when, uh, when uh, a couple of years ago things came, um, happened and I wanted to like just speak my piece and a mentor of mine, uh, a pastor in Albany, also a lawyer said, um, if you serve a God who is omnipresent and omniscient, there really is no need for you to do anything. Let God do everything. And you just keep being who you are. Keep trying to serve God and glorify God. You don't need to fight this specific battle or all your battles because God will fight them for you. Um, and I was like, you know what, you're right. And it's hard to do because we are all people. We are all like flesh, right? So when somebody says something untrue about you or if somebody has uh, assaulted you in any way, you want to defend yourself. I, I, I've had a good name and I want to defend this good name, right? And the Bible speaks highly of a person with a good name. That's why with somebody like me, um, they couldn't, people can't really break you if you don't really have anything to break right but then you have that name you have that name and they try to break your name um, but then even in that they try to break your name and maybe this is I don't know who I'm speaking to right now maybe I'm speaking to you when they want to break your name remember that there's a God a creator of all things who is everywhere and who is all-knowing who will vindicate you when the time is right and that vindication could come in various forms and may not and it, and and make no mistake Vengeance is not the same as vindication. Justice is not the same as vengeance. So, if somebody has wronged you, do not seek God for them to wrong them. And then call it karma. Because that's not God. That's not God. Some people have things that happen to them that where people wrong them and they wish harm on somebody else. That's not God. That's not, you know, you can call that karma. You can call it. I'll give, I'll give that to karma. Right? But that's not God. <laughs> that's not God. So don't ever think that God is in the business of, of tearing down your enemies. No, 
God really wants to restore the relationship, not tear down your enemy. That's his, his initial, what he really wants is restoration. How do we know that? Because we were enemies with God at we were enemies with God at one point. And instead of destroying us all, he sent his son Jesus to die so that we could have restoration. So make no mistake, make no mistake. God is not in the business of vengeance, all right? And he's not in the business of making your enemies pay the way you want them paid, want them to pay for, for whatever wrong they did to you. God is, in, God is in the business of restoration. And if he can restore that, that's vindication in the sight of God. So my prayer has been vindication, but not vindication in vengeance. All right, I'm shutting this off because this is, this is ridiculous now. It never goes off until I start recording. Remember, vengeance is not the same as vindication. Let God vindicate you in the way that he wants the situation vindicated. And it may not look like your enemy getting hurt. It may look like your enemy coming to grips with what they did, apologizing to you, and there being a restoration of that relationship or some sort of restoration. It may not look the same, but it could be a restoration, all right? So, yes, I am who I am. What you see here is who I actually am. Um, and I don't care what people think about me. Um, I've been told that I've been, I, I'm corny. Um, I've been even told that like I'm not black enough, but this, I have, it's been like years ago since people have been telling me that. Because, um, and I developed, um, this thinking and it's not like I don't care what people think about me um, people who don't know me that make um, false assumptions of me I don't really have time and space to entertain but the people that really know me and know my character if they, they could they able to call me out on my character and say Dre yo what's what's happening here this is not you I welcome that so um, with that being said quick video quick vlog hopefully this encourages somebody people will wrong you People will want to see you come out of character. People want to see you hurt. Um, but make no mistake, God's not in the business of um, um, wreaking havoc and vengeance on your enemies the way you feel you need want him to. Like that's not, he's, he's in the business of something totally different. And we know that because of his relationship with us and what he desires from us. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna chill today and relax and hopefully this encourages somebody all right so i'm out i'm going to go inside out of this hot sun and it's supposed to be crazy weather today so i'm hoping that my basement don't get water we'll see all right i'm out thank you so much for watching god bless you and peace